I'm going to try to do today is I'm going to try to make some soil blocks, plant some reddish seed, and uh, of course I'll have to grow them off inside the house. Once I've made the soil blocks, I'll put them in this first tray here, as you can see from looking at the white through it, and it has holes in the bottom, and then this tray over here does not have any holes in it. So what we'll wind up doing is just stacking this tray inside that tray to catch any excess water drainage. Now the soil blocks are going to be made from a mixture that I make up, which is basically um, pro mix, uh, black cow manure, black cow topsoil, and a back toe potting soil. So let's get to doing that. Alright, so in the process of making the soil blocks, we've got a tool here, a soil block making tool. And uh, first thing we got to do, of course, is get the mixture wet enough to do so. So we'll be putting water into this mixture right here, and I'll just stop the video and we'll come back to it when I get ready to. Okay, our mixture is about wet enough, so first thing we'll do is we'll dip the block making tool in the water. That'll help the blocks to come out easy. Then we'll come over here, and we'll put it straight down here, and we'll push down hard as we can, which will force... Uh, the, the mix and up into the holes in the block maker and there underneath you'll see that there's a lot of excess kind of hanging on so what we do is we'll just put it down over there rub it a little bit and then get hold that handle pull it up and there's our first eight blocks So now you just reach in, carefully get a hold of a block, bring it over, and place it in the tray. So we've got a long ways to go, so we'll stop this. And... Alright, so now we got our tray full of soil blocks, and it's time to start putting the seeds in. The variety I'm going to plant today is called the Fairy Moore Seed. A reddish as you can see they're like a little red reddish with a white tip and um, I think they're actually called sparkler let me see if I can get over here a little bit I'm having trouble with it focusing anyhow it's called sparkler got the seeds in there now we're just going to come in with a handful of the uh, potty mix stuff Cover over them, and you can rake it like this, it don't hurt, but I better hurry up, it's starting to rain. The 21st of February, so I thought I'd do a little update on my uh, reddish growing experiment. Now, I've brought them outside so we have a better light, but these are the ones that I've been growing in the house. Let's see if we can get a close-up here of something. And that one you see there, it's getting pretty good size. It's probably big enough to eat. The greens are looking nice too. All right, that's our update for now. Uh, today is the first day of March, and it's time to do an update on my reddish growing experiment. These have been growing in the house, and uh, you can see the, the foliage on them is quite lush. Now let's come over this way and get in close for a reddish itself. And you can see that it's getting pretty good size. Big as a marble coming over this way. We'll run across a couple more. Let's see if I can get in where I can see them. Alright, so that's the way they're looking right now. So, what we're going to do now 
is uh, we'll reach in here and we'll pull this one right here out, shake off as much dirt as we can, and that's a pretty good size reddish. You get a comparison of it there by looking at the size of my thumb. So that's enough to eat. So I'm going to end the experiment now. It works. I'm satisfied that it does work. Pull a couple more while we're at it. And again, just to give you a comparison of the size, I'll put my my thumb there in beside it. So I'm satisfied that growing radishes in the house can be done.